Yeah. That the Lord has made, baby. Yeah, he did. We shall hey. join. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and be glad in it well. Hey. Yes, sir. Get in the chat. Let me know where you're at. Every day and today is a special day. It's D Day, baby. Yeah, it's your birthday. It's your birthday, man. It's your birthday. Hey, hey, go, Sean. It's your birthday, man. How do you feel? Man, I feel like I look. Okay, then I'm you feel hyped. good. You feel good then. You feel yeah. hype. You feel on, on top. I, I'm lit. I'm on fire. I love it. I'm here. I'm living. Let's I go. made it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's a, joy, it's a joyous occasion today. And listen, it, 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 it's a national holiday today. I need everybody. Just type happy birthday in the comments. Let him know that uh, you are excited that he's made it around the sun another 365 days, which is amazing. Listen, man, you've done a lot. And there's a lot that's happening this year. It's your birthday, but it's also a major milestone in your ministry anniversary. How many years? Man, 24 years. Get out of since, here. Since no, he I... started when he was four. <laughs> yeah. You're giving us that 28 look. You're giving yes, us that 28. 20, Come on, 24 man. 24 <laughs> years, Bishop, since I said that. Wow. Yeah. I've been with the company 24 years been with the kingdom rocking going strong uh my god over listen over 20 albums for the kingdom millions, wow. millions of records sold uh stellar awards dove award nomination grammy award no man I, I, listen, Crazy. It's, I got so much to be thankful for M movies i got so much to be thankful for. man listen how, how do you People don't last 24 days and stuff now, 24 weeks, 24 months. Yeah. What's your number one takeaway for how you've lasted that long in ministry? Like what because there's people watching right now. And everybody, let us know in the chat where you're watching from. There's people watching right now that are like, man, how do I last? How do I endure? You know, especially in a culture that is so, you know, generally speaking, anti-loyal. You know, these folks ain't loyal the way they used to be, consistent the way they used to be. Generally speaking, like what what's your one takeaway for how you lasted this long and accomplished so much? Because I don't think people understand. Sometimes when you when you watch a person all the time, you don't really recognize. You take for granted all of what they are and who they are. And you're a gift. You're a real gift. You've done a lot. How did you last twenty four years? I want to know. I, I've decided. I decided early. It was no plan B. Ooh, okay. No plan uh, B. Y'all put that in the comments. No plan B. Yeah, it, it was it was either it was either sink or swim, man. Wow. Um, I was so possessed, Bishop. I was so possessed by my purpose. Mm, okay, but, uh, yeah, possessed by your purpose. That's powerful. Okay, so no plan B. <laughs> possessed by your purpose. Everybody, yeah. drop that in the comments. I'm possessed by my purpose. Let me tell you why I have you to type that stuff. Matthew 18 says, wherever two or three touch a ring on anything, it should be done for them. In this digital space, when you type, that's our way to touch. Typing is touching in online space. So we're going to make it done. Because for somebody, they're like, man, I can't do this. It's too much. You are possessed by your purpose. You're possessed. And when you're possessed, what does possession mean? Like someone else is controlling you. You have no control. Something mm. has take, taken over and 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 has hit the override button on your belief system on, mm. on on what you see in the natural everything you do and mm. that's how i've been living my life man for 24 years i've been faith walking wow. starting from the bottom now i'm here i mean i started with nothing wow. nothing 
left left from three six man and, and just you know i mean ridiculed by my city for doing holy hip-hop you know they said you know it's one thing to do something they feel like it's demonic and come from a quote-unquote demonic group so, so yeah. you know I, I, you know I, man i'm here you made it you know what <laughs> look I, I i got i got i got a confession so <clears throat> I remember the first time I ever turned up to heard the term holy hip hop. Now this granted is long time ago, long, long, long time ago. I, my first initial response, cause I used to have a very judgmental churchy mentality. And what I mean, let me clarify what I mean by that is cause there's nothing wrong. People say churchy. There's nothing wrong being churchy. Church is a good thing. Church is the bride of Christ. We are the church. Um, so church is not a bad thing. Church is a great thing. It's an amazing thing. Uh, I was judgmental. I was like the Pharisees and Sadducees. So I used to look down and the Lord took me through a whole thing over everything. Most things I used to look down on people for, he took me right through there and said, that's what you got to say now. Nothing, Lord. Nothing, Lord. I ain't got nothing to say. But I remember the first time I heard, and this is before I knew you did it. The first time I heard the term uh, holy hip hop, I was like, well, ain't that like praising prostitutes? That's like, hallelujah, hookers. I was like, what do you mean holy hip hop? Because I, my view even though I was born in Denver, reared in Memphis and in that environment, my view of it was that, like you just said, that was a, you know, that's a, no, we need to stay away from hip hop. Hip hop is bad. Now realizing it was more than music, it was a culture and a subculture and, and an overcoming type of a sound. This is the journey. It was like, testimony. basically you're telling testimonies. That's what it was. And so I viewed it totally different. And then what was totally crazy is how that thing shifted. And when we, when we started our Christian club here in Colorado, you were the first one to come out when we did that thing. And because uh, I was like, okay, cool, let's go with it. And so my whole mentality about that thing shifted. And I was listening to your album, turning, or, you know, your CDs back then, turning them junks up and what have you. Uh, so let me just say, as a converted person to the value of that, uh, I mean, it's amazing to pioneer something new. And then you open up the doors, like you created, you open up the doors for so many, like name some of, I know you're not a name dropper, but people need to know that maybe just watch you and they don't know your journey. You you opened up the doors for a whole lot of people in that, in that space, because you pioneered it, it didn't exist. Drop them names. Drop them names. Drop that resume or CV, as they say in Europe. Drop your CV. Oh yeah, man. That, that man, my brother Canton Jones. Um, uh, you know, well, actually, he discovered me. He 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 sought me out to give me his CD. Uh, wow. Uh, back in two thousand one. That's before, crazy. Yeah, we were on the same same set. A young guy, young guy, man. I think he was like fifteen years old through a holy hip hop event in Atlanta. Uh, I was there, Canton was in the crowd and uh, he saw my ministry and gave one of his CDs to my uh, one of my guys and said, hey, make sure you get this to him. You know, I'm an artist. And I sat on there for six months, man. And my boy kept telling me, hey man, you, you heard that CD I gave you? You need to listen to that CD I gave you. And I'm like, Cool. And then, you know, boom, gave him his first deal. Molly Music. Mm. Molly Music gave him his first deal. Uh, uh, so many artists, man, uh, all across the country have have told me that I've inspired them and, wow. and, and set a whole new precedent. But but hands on artists that I have mentored and, and, and signed and, and, and presented to the world. Those are my my two right there, Molly Music and, and Ken Jones. Amazing. L let me ask you this. <clears throat> That's the music. Um, let's talk about the man. You've been through some stuff. Mm. You've been through some stuff. It's your birthday. It's an anniversary month. You've been through some stuff. What? What? How has that shaped you? You know, what? What are some of the things that you would say shaped you? Because everybody. You know, sometimes when they're going through stuff and everybody watching right now, just type this in the comments. I survived because sometimes you don't give yourself credit, pe meaning people in general, for some of the stuff that they've just survived. They've made it through like you you've been through some stuff in these years. You've been on the, these these 26 years you've been on the planet. I'm just playing. Man, look, look, come on. <laughs> You're older than 26, y'all. I'm just I'm just you know, we just got to put it. Yeah, yeah, you got to. You got to. 
Man, listen. Because you don't I, look like what you've been through. You really don't. Well, praise God, man. You really praise don't. God for you that. really don't. Praise, yeah, you really don't. Praise God for that. Uh, the past seven years, man, uh, I, I, you know, I was one of those guys that didn't believe in midlife crisis mm. or, or didn't really think that, you know, that was like a real thing. Yeah. But when I tell you, man, uh, starting seven years ago, uh, every two years, there was a death. Wow. Um, my spiritual father, uh, two years later, my natural father, two mm. years later, the pandemic, two years after that, Gangsta Boo, then my sister, uh, my oldest sister, closest sister, who was like a mother to me. I mean, I, listen, I can't believe that I mm. was able to continue this. Right. When I've seen people quit for less. For less, yeah. For That's less. Good. And, 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 and you know, these past seven years, man, I've been bleeding while I've been leading. Wow. Uh, because it's no plan B for me. Um, I, I don't even know. I'm looking for you to tell me. I don't know what that, what it is. I know it's God, but for me to continue to have the fortitude to fight and to stay in faith through all of the mess, through all of the deaths, yeah. uh, through it all, man. I, I just, I give all glory to God, man. That, that's why this birthday more than anything, I'm excited to be here. Like, like, like these past seven years with all the deaths that was around me, like literally, I'm talking about suicide, man. Hmm. Contemplating suicide. Um, my health has been hit heavy. Hmm. So if it wasn't suicide, it was the threat of just the sheer stress. Yeah. And, and the hit that my nervous system had had took. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean it's a I, listen, man. I it's a lot. To God. Yeah, and, and to God. I, I think that's just it. Sometimes people talk about how, how, how God. And at the end of the day. You know, he tells Moses his name is I am. I am is this Hebrew phrase, the year say a year, which means I will prove who I am by what I do. Mm. Wow. In other words, God says, Don't give me a name, because I'll be whatever I need to be. Right. Like I'll be your counselor when you need a counselor. I'll be your I'll be your way maker when you need a way maker. You know, if you go up in church, you heard that kind of stuff, but it's in, it's not until you get in it that you realize the Lord literally shape-shifted to get you through your situation so that you would not sink. Come on here. He literally he literally just shape-shifted. So he put himself in the form of a friend that talked you through some stuff. He'll put himself in the form of an opportunity that'll give you the money you need to get through a patch. He'll put himself like he becomes everything we need. He is I am. So sometimes we're looking for practical steps and sometimes the really the only step is I am. That's it. Like there ain't no other explanation, which brings me to the ministry part. So we talked music. We talked, man, the ministry part. You've hit like almost 100 cities across the country, man. Yeah. Soul ties seminar. And you go to, like they used to say, the highways and the byways compel it to come. He will be in the middle of Nowheresville, Arkansas. He will be in places where I sometimes say, are you <laughs> I'll be like, are you sure you safe there? Like, what are you doing? You'll be and all you know, over. And you know what, Bishop? I, that's one of my my motivating scriptures. I that's one of my mm -hmm. mantras, right? For this mission, that particular yep. scripture, I'm going to major and minor cities. Yeah, Ooh, major like artery it. and minor artery, the highway and the, and the byway, byway. Back yeah, roads yeah. The Compelling them to come. How many cities so far? 89. 89. Do you know most people ain't never going to see 89 cities in, in, in their life? Listen, we uh, and, and listen, uh, and I'm done. I'm finishing strong yeah. in October. That's wow. when I've decided to finish it, in October. I love it. Ele 11 more. There. 11 My more. 11 more, which brings me to another thing. You, you mentioned faith, and I tell you this all the time in private. You are the most, 
faith-filled person. And I said, I don't even think you know it. We'll, we've talked through like how you do what you do when you go to these cities. You'll sow into the city. And I think that's the thing for people to understand. You're a sower. You're a giver. Um, and the Bible makes a very specific promise. It says, you'll reap what you sow. He gives seed to the sower. And for everybody watching me, just type that in the comments. I'm a sower. I'm a sower. And it's bigger than money, y'all, because when you're a sower, he'll give you a talent. He'll say, sow it. He'll give you an ability. He'll say, sow it. He'll give you skills. He'll say, sow it, right? Um, he'll create these opportunities for you to release because the only way you're going to see increase is when you release. You can't even take your next breath until you release your previous one. Can't take your next step until you release your previous step. You can't uh, uh, advance to the next level of life until you release the previous. You can't go up on an elevator until you release the previous floor. So release is the only way to get increase. Um, so for every person praying for increase right now, you got to be released. You got to be a releaser. You do that. You will go to these different cities. You're sowing in advance, places you've never been. You go and you sow. Like, and, and it's such a faith thing because you just show up. I mean, I've watched you do it. You just show up and and you you do it and you do it well. And, and I'm amazed by it every time I see it because I'm like, so where are you going? Oh, I'm going to mix a Haksawachi, you know, uh, uh, Tennessee. I'd be like, is it more than like 20 people in the city? You know, you, you know, the Lord told me to go. I'm going. You'll go. And then, you know, you'll give me the repeat. And this was amazing. This many people came. This, 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 and this. Lives are being changed and transformed. Like, who does that? Well, clearly you. But, like, yeah. take us through it. Because there's some people who are scared to, they scared to apply for a job on Indeed. Like, you know, and here you are driving across the country to a city you've never been to to minister to people. Like, that's a huge step. That's faith. That's a lot. That takes a lot. I remember uh, when I first got saved, Bishop, I, you know how when you first started your ministry and, and, and you're brainstorming about the logo and the brand mm -hmm. and how you're going to be presented. And I remember uh, my first logo, right, uh. was it, it, had, it had, and I didn't even realize uh, what this was speaking to, but it was speaking to my not only my purpose but my mm. mate how you mm. know how you're made is very important it's so true uh, I, I tell people all the time even even mm. with musicians mm. you know you can tell that certain people are made for certain things you know a keyboard player is going to have long fingers a drummer is going to have short hands to grip drumsticks uh dizzy gillespie is going to have elastic cheeks right. uh uh michael jordan is gonna have long arms and and have height and long fingers to palm a ball like like you're literally made for your purpose god when he when he says you're fearfully and wonderfully made he hmm. means that yeah he means that. Ooh, that's and, good. and i remember bishop doing my local without so even thinking without even thinking about it and and, and 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 basically God telling me the logo was a shield hmm. and it was a cross and a music note. Hmm. Of course, the music note represented my music ministry and then the cross represented my teaching ministry or preaching. Wow. So I'm a hybrid. Hmm. I'm a Gemini. I, I, I'm, wow. I'm double gifted, right? That's good. I uh, like that. Canton would always tell me, yeah, yeah, he can rap, but you got to hear him preach. Like, this is before I even started my preaching ministry. Like, he he, wow. he just was always... He saw it. Yeah. He saw it early. Uh, so and was good. was an early advocator of, of, of my teaching. So, when my... The music season uh, came to an end, God told me, he said, okay, hmm. now you launch the love and light coach. Now you go to the highways and byways and you teach and you compel them. That That's that word that really triggered mm -hmm. me, that mm -hmm. compelling piece. Mm -hmm. And what more compelling than someone showing up to your city, inviting you in for free. For free. That's your life. Yeah. And you do an amazing job. 
Thank you. Thank I, I, you. I told you, uh, you know, and I don't just say this because because I, 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 I love and appreciate you. I came to when you did a Denver seminar and I sat there in the back and having you know my folks with me, I sat there in the back and uh I you know I just was observing and saying because I, I hadn't been to one. We talked about them, I just never been to one. And I sat there and man, I had so many notes. I said, Oh my god, I said, This this ninja is going in. Amazing. We talked about the man, we've talked about the music. We've talked about the ministry. We've talked really about the mandate, this hybrid nature. What's next for the love and life coach? Man, I, I just want to uh, continue to obey God to the best of my ability mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and spreading this word, this mission, yeah. this movement worldwide. Um, you know, we're, we're dominating right now, the, the states. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're about to hit 100 cities. Our flag is planted, is about to be planted in 100 cities. Um, I, I just want to keep going. The word I keep hearing, Bishop, and I know you can probably mm. just touch <clears throat> on this, yeah. is that dominion piece. Yeah. Dominion. I, I just, everywhere I go, I just see, I, I, I just, domain. I, I, I want to just infiltrate with the kingdom and with the mandate and mission that God has given me. Go. That's so powerful. This is what year anniversary? 24. 24. And this is what year of your life? 46. 46, 70. That's powerful. That's powerful. Um, you know, I, I, when, I, when you look at the word seven, a few things come to mind. Bible says for 70 years, they would be in Babylon and then the Lord would come and that he would take them into and they would be in possession of the kingdom, right? Um, dominion. 70, I think, is a powerful number. And I think <clears throat> even for those watching, you know, you look over and over, you'll see 70 uh, in the scripture when you look at those that went into Egypt. Um, and then those that come out, um, you know, with Joseph and, and Joseph's bones, um, it's powerful to see the use of that, those two numbers uh, together. And, you know, I think what I think I love most about your journey, everybody's watching journey, is that while you've got some great days behind you, your best, they are still ahead of you. They are still ahead of you. And I want to I want to challenge everybody watch right now because it's birthday and we're going to celebrate your birthday we talked the man the ministry the mandate the music and then we talked about more what's next what's next that's what we talked about i want to challenge everybody watching because it's easy to see your journey so ooh, that's good ooh, that's good ooh, i remember back when i remember back when and every time i'm with you especially in memphis um which uh been an amazing a week this oh, past week in Memphis. It was oh, incredible. It was one for the books. It was incredible. Oh, it was one for the books. Man, it was incredible. Um, but they see all of that and sometimes don't realize the journey into that. And there's three ways you get an anointing. You serve it, you suffer for it, or you sow into it. I'll back it up and say it again. What's an anointing? It's a grace. It's a favor. It's a supernatural. There's three ways you get that. And you've got longevity. You've got success. You've got results. You've gone through valleys, but you've 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 reemerged. And for everybody watching right now on this day, your birthday, um, they need to tap into that anointing. And there's three ways they do it. They they can serve it, so they can connect to core. They can serve it. That's important. But they can suffer for it, meaning they can go through the hell you've been through. But here's the deal: who uh, who in the hell wants to go through hell? Right, 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 right. <laughs> who right. want to go through all that? Who wants to go through all that? Right. Uh, and I ain't cussing y'all, though. It keeps me cussing. Hell is a Greek word, Gehenna, which means hot trash, okay? Or you can sow into it. And I want to challenge today. There's hundreds and hundreds that watch Motivation Monday all the time. I want to challenge you today to, for that 24 and for that um, uh, 46, I want to challenge everybody watching. Put those two together and sow 70. $70, um, which is those two numbers together, to tap into the anointing. Look, it ain't even, look, can I be honest with you? It's gonna, it ain't even for him. It's for you. It is so that you tap into the grace, to the favor, into the supernatural for your life so that 
you'll be able to say, and I got Dell Awards and Stella Awards and this and that and discovered this one and that one. And I did this. And again, that may not be what you're doing, but there's something you want to accomplish. There's something you want to do. There's something that you want to take advantage of. And the only way to do it is you're going to have to sow into it. What is $70 um, into your future, into your life? And I really believe that 70, back to that principle with the Babylon, uh, with Babylon they, he said for 70 years, you're going to be in Babylon. Babylon means confusion. Why am I going through this? Why is this happening? Why is this going on? And he said at the end of that 70, he said, I'm coming to get you. For everybody watching, that 70 is your I'm coming out, see, coming out of confusion, because that's what Babylon means, confusion, <clears throat> coming out of confusion, coming out of doubt, coming out of drought, coming out of frustration, coming out of anger, coming out of toxic relationships, coming out of misery, coming out of mess. I'm coming out. It's 70 and you need to sow it with me right now. The ways to give are coming up. And listen, I know it's his birthday, but look, we look, this seed ain't even about him. This seed is about you. This seed is about you coming out of your Babylon. And it just so happens that God would make it that this man's birthday, this man's anniversary comes together to the perfect number for you. Seven is the biblical number of completion. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking all as well. So I want you to sow. Join me in sowing right now. That 70 will be a blessing to the man of God, but it's that it's I'm coming out. That's the name of the seed. I want you to sow it. So Bishop, I don't have 70. Get as close as you can with it. Maybe you've got 67, 57, 37, 35, get a seed in the ground and get as close as you can to that 70. It's one seed. Look, what is one seed of $70 going to do except change and bless your life? I'm a faithful giver. I'm a sower. I know. I don't teach you to do what I don't do. I can't tell you how seeds that I didn't even think much about um, have dramatically and radically changed my life. So I know it's your show, but I took over. Uh, I, I want y'all to sow. Join me and do it right now. And once you've sowed, type I sowed in the comments because I want to pray over every seed. Um, you do that right now. Type I sowed in the comments. 70 or as close as you can to it. And when you sow it, you're going to speak over your seed. I'm coming out of my Babylon, Babylon, confusion and all those different things. You get the last word. It is your motivating motivation Monday. You get the last word, but I had to take over. Man, listen, Bishop, I just, number one, want to thank you for being my partner and purpose in this second chapter of my life. I want to thank everybody that all my soldiers that tune in to Motivation Monday, all of my refugees, oh, man, and my family, my fans, and my friends, love y'all so much. Man, listen, there it is. Whoop, there it is. I thought you knew. Listen, guys, as you're sowing, I want to bless your seeds. Father, I pray for every person sowing right now. <clears throat> you don't bless intentions. You bless actions. You said bless to those who do, not just those that hear. So, Father, I pray that those that have stepped out in faith to sow the 70 with me, we honor the man of God's anniversary. We honor his uh, birthday. But, God, this seed is for them. This seed is about what's going to be produced in their lives. They're going to sow into the anointing, the grace, the favor, the supernatural that's on his life, and they will see a great harvest return. I pray for praise reports to begin to manifest even over these next 30 days. Sudden fast forward movement, sudden fast forward movement, sudden fast forward movement over the lives of your people now. Seeds break cycles, break every negative cycle, break every Babylonian cycle in Jesus' name, and it is so. Amen. Amen. We Amen. salute you. Happy birthday. Thank you, my brother. Thank Happy all Happy anniversary. You. All of it. Thank all of you in the in the VIP section in the chat. Chat is going crazy. Thank you for all the birthday love. Each and every one of y'all, man. Listen. Listen. Oh, man. I'm just so excited. I'm so grateful. And I, most of all, I thank God for seeing me through giving me the strength uh, and the power for this purpose. I'm going to keep rocking as long as God will allow. I love y'all. Next week, I will be back. Same bad time, same bad channel. Until then, stay in faith, stay focused, and stay motivated. We out!